the arrow passes straight through. Because all the arrow's energy is focused on a single point, the plate isn't split in two. Let's see the same experiment with a bucket of water. In slow motion, we can see the arrow rotating and squirming as it buries itself into the bucket. Looking closely at the arrow's path, we can see it also flexes considerably as it flies. So, how does the arrow manage to fly so straight as it bends so much in the air? Its airborne dynamics are heavily influenced by its fletchings. Let's see what happens if an arrow is launched without its fletchings. It misses the target completely. No matter how many times we repeat the experiment, the arrow never flies straight. We then took some fletching and placed it in the airstream of a hair dryer. The airflow causes the fletching to rotate. This occurs because fletching has both a rough and smooth surface. The differences in texture produce different degrees of air resistance making the arrow spin. Rotation is the key to lifting accuracy and increasing the force of the arrow's strike. The martial art of Kudo is full of the wisdom of the ages, thanks to past generations who dedicated themselves to improving the bow and arrow. How's the video? <laughs> yes, it's very impressive. I didn't know all these physics aerodynamics which are involved in the Kudo. Mm -hmm. And what is striking is that Japanese archers a few hundred years ago didn't have any knowledge of the law of physics mm. and aerodynamics. And they managed to, to do that by trial and experience. So Here I think in. it's amazing to discover now with the modern science what techniques they mm -hmm. have found naturally. Definitely. So, Jerome, is it possible to control the rotation of the arrow if you want? To be honest, we don't think about this. We think of the proper shootings, and, uh, which means the proper form, but we don't think about all these things mm. that we have seen in the video. Yeah, so you do it naturally. <laughs> okay, so now I've learned that Jerome Kudo is not only about hitting the target, right? No, what is very important is to have the correct form, okay. which would lead to hitting the target. So the okay. correct form is called Shaho Hasetsu. Sh Shaho which, Hasetsu, okay. Yes, which is the principle of shootings, the eighth stage. Ooh, okay, maybe you can Yes, so let, let's have a look at this. Okay, let, let's please. call Paul, which has practiced in Kudo for a few years. Great. So the, the first uh, stage is called Ashibumi, which is placing the feet. So the feet are in a straight line towards the target. Then we move to the stage of Dozukuri, which is setting the proper posture with the spine, the vertical line straight, the center of gravity of the body below the navel, and setting the upper torso in a straight fashion with the free line of shoulders, hip, and legs parallel. Then we move to the stage of Yugamae, which is readying the bow, so the gloves uh, hold the string in a soft manner 
without too much strength. And then the left hand uh, is holding with the arrow in place. We move to the stage of Uchiokoshi, which is raising the bow calmly and having the shoulder down. Then it is when we move to the next stage of Hikiwake, which is drawing the bow. And what is important here is that to keep the balance and equal force between the left and the right, as you see, the arrow is horizontal. This is now the stage of Kai, the full draw, where you strengthen the body, move until the stage of release, which is when the arrow fly to the target. And now is the final stage of Zanshin, the follow throw of the body and the mind after the shooting, where you keep a dignified posture and you bring back the bow. And whatever, if you hit the target or not, you keep this very elegant and calm posture. Mm. So this is the Beautiful. It's beautiful, thank you. So Jerome, every each eight steps are very important in Kudo, Yes, right? you practice them day in, day out, and to, to refine so that they become a natural part of your body. Mm. But what it is important, we show it today, eight different steps, but when you practice it, it should look like one total, united, seamless flow. Mm. Oh, it has to go with the flow. Yes, so that it looks like a, a, a whole harmonious practice. Mm, thank you. So to end this week's feature on Kudo, let's see how Japan's top female practitioners fared at the country's most pre prestigious competition. 104 female archers make a procession to Meiji Shrine, one of the most important shrines in Japan. In a long-standing tradition, they are here to pray before a major tournament. They pray that they'll be able to attain the right state of mind and harness skills polished through many hours of devoted practice. The tournament begins the following day with the qualifying rounds. The archers enter the dojo. With each move carefully prescribed by tradition, every action they make until they leave is being judged. Divided from beginning to end into eight stages, the archers go through the same fluid motion. The target is 28 meters away, and it doesn't matter which part of it is struck. There are two prizes in the competition, one for the most number of target hits and one for overall performance. Each archer fires four arrows in the qualifying rounds. 20 women reach the final. For the final, each archer fires 10 arrows. Maintaining a clear focus and hitting the target every time is no easy task. Yukiko Saito is an experienced archer who's won the prize for the most number of target hits several times in the past. But even veterans find it very hard never to miss. Yukiko gets off to a bad start, missing three of her first five arrows. Last year, I won the prize for the best overall performance. So to make sure I was a worthy winner, I spent the past year practicing hard to try and address my weak points. My performance today, though, shows that I still haven't done enough. Yukie Kabuki was in 12th place coming into the final, following the qualifying rounds. As she was taking part in this tournament for the first time, she felt free from pressure, helping her achieve a state of mushin. Yukie's accuracy increases as the tournament progresses.
she successfully hits the target with nine consecutive arrows. With her final arrow, she has the chance for a perfect 10 out of 10. After practicing Kudo for 21 years, this one shot will show the results of her countless hours of dedication. Her arrow flies true and strikes the target cleanly. Yukie Kabuki wins the prize for the most number of target hits at her first attempt. It was my first tournament, so I didn't feel any pressure. Well, to be honest, I felt a little pressure, but not really that much. <laughs> I simply focused on firing each arrow one at a time, and I was able to win with a perfect record. I even surprised myself. <laughs> mm, so what do you think of her performance? I think Kabuki Sensei did an extraordinary uh, performance and what strikes me is that she, she said she shoot each arrow, one arrow by one arrow. So she could keep her concentration mm. at the, on the very moment and that's why she could get 10 hits out of 10 shootings. Which is very difficult, yes. I bet. Yes. Okay, so um, what's needed to win the overall performance prize? We have a BTR of Hiroko Kitagawa. So she was a winner for the overall performance. Yes, so Kitagawa uh, Sensei, as you can see, she has a very balanced form. Uh, her body is very straight. Now she reached the stage of Kai, which is very profound Kai, and you see the release, which is very strong mm. and very beautiful at the same time. Uh, so it's nearly ideal form for us that we can learn about. Mm. She was beautiful, wasn't yes, she? Yes, definitely. So I wanted to ask you, how has Kudo connected to your daily life? Yes, when you, changes? when you practice Kudo, you learn that you have to focus on, on, your, on the correct actions okay. and then the result will follow. So this you can apply in your daily life, in your business, do what is correct and what you want to hit mm -hmm. will come at the end. <gasps> so That's, the uh, result will follow. Yes. Maybe I should try it. <laughs> Definitely you should try. Uh, it's a long way, you have to practice, but I advise you to try and more and more people should try man, woman, any generation could try. Mm. So Jerome, thank you very much for joining us and sharing your insights. Thank you so thank much, you. Ayako. Please come back again and thank you everybody for watching Sports Japan and we'll see you next time.